Well, with an enrollment of over 30,000 students from over 80 countries, it's hard to imagine the Des Moines School District lacking diversity. Actually, up until 1946, the district never had a person of color teaching in the classroom until one groundbreaking Des Moines native changed everything. As we highlight Black History Month, we learn how Perkins Elementary and Harriet Curley Bruce broke barriers together. Educators are routinely seen teaching history, but rarely do they become it themselves. Harriet Curley Bruce is a really compelling story. Leo Landis, curator for the State Historical Museum of Iowa, says after graduating from Drake University in 1945, Harriet Curley Bruce, a Des Moines East High School alum, applied for an opportunity to teach kindergarten at Perkins Elementary in 1946. The black community in Des Moines had been trying to get a black teacher for about 15 years. At a time when all the other teachers in the district were white, a few dozen parents thought the potential of her in a classroom molding the minds of their white children was cause for protest. It wasn't like Des Moines School Board just said, oh, we're ready to hire. It was black Iowans in, in Des Moines advocating for someone like Harriet Curley to, you know, who's been trained to be hired as a teacher in Des Moines Public Schools. N.D. McCombs was superintendent at the time and saw that Harriet's resume spoke louder than any skin tone. Early September of 1946 and, and are protesting her hiring, uh, he says, you know, our policy is we look for the best candidates. She had great recommendations from her teachers at Drake. She had passed all the state licensing requirements. Uh, why would we not hire the most qualified person? It's that administration's support for hiring the best that current Perkins principal Michael Derrick says had a rippling effect in the district ever since. We have families who are here from other countries you know, Haitian, Afghan, you name it. We just have so many families and so many kids that represent all parts of the world, so many different languages. And it makes me think that the origin of that, that some of that diversity started with Harriet getting her job. Not much of the original building remains, but the main entrance originally used maybe by Harriet on that first historic day of class is still intact. Those quiet footsteps are now booming sounds of inspiration for students nearly 80 years later. It makes me feel like I can do almost anything. Like she was, in, she was around in a time where things like that were very rare, but she still managed to do it, which makes me feel more confident, confident in my ability to do other stuff. While she'll never hear a lesson plan from Harriet Curley Bruce, fifth grader Athena Borzo can walk those same halls with a sense of pride for her school. It makes me feel kind of proud of our school for like accepting her instead of just being like, no thank you. Fellow fifth grade classmate Omar Ibrahim says Harriet's journey gives him confidence for his own to become a pilot. Black people in other races can break barriers from uh, all being seg uh, segregated and can do stuff that white people can do. In March, Perkins Elementary will officially name their library in honor of their trailblazing kindergarten teacher. Her focus on education, her love of literacy, as all teachers have, right? We, we want to make sure we do something that will always um, have her be a memory and, and a, a source of pride for the community. A pride that goes beyond black history. She's an important part of Des Moines history and like, she's finally getting the recognition she deserves. And Harry Curley, Bruce's husband, E. Nevin Bruce, was the first black man to teach full-time in the Des Moines district as well, mm. when he became a math and PE teacher at Logan Elementary in 1952. Okay. They both retired in 1981 and moved to Texas okay. uh, before their deaths in 2001. Wow, trailblazers. Yeah. That's amazing. And how cool that the library is being named after her, so every time students walk in, they know the changes she was yeah, able to make. Yeah, real cool tribute there. So mm -hmm. they'll have a formal grand opening for that new name uh, in late March. 